What's up, motherfuckers? General the Destroyer coming back with another video. Damn, I'm tired, man. I was outside as fucking hot as fuck over here in Texas, man. God damn, man. At least, at least 90s, or, you know, early 100s or something, man. I, I don't even know where it's at, but I know it's fucking hot than a motherfucker. That's all I can tell you. But uh, I jumped on this, this uh, uh, I read on the internet right now. Um, you know how a lot of these Nintendo guys, these Wii U fellas saying that the PS4 is going to be less powerful than, than, than the Wii U and etc, etc. Well, Shui Yoshida, which is, I don't know how the fuck to pronounce his name, but the main head honcho of Sony Worldwide PlayStation, whatever the fuck, he's in charge of the PlayStation shit. He says simply, dream on. Dream on. Dream on, motherfuckers. <laughs> Dream on is what he's saying because he ain't releasing any specs yet, you know, according to this uh, thing here. But he is making it clear that the PS4 will not be outdone in terms of power compared to the Wii U. So that's a good thing to know that, you know, I mean... We know power matters a lot in these consoles. It really does. Power matters a lot. And um, power is 50% and the games is another 50% when it comes in the, in, in the, in the gaming, you know, in the, in the console type of deal. And we know, actually, I take that back. It, it'd be more like 75 and 25, you know what I mean? Because... If the game ain't good, but it looks beautiful, I don't want to play it. You know what I'm saying? The game can be beautiful and be sorry ass. You know, I won't, you know, just like I just said. Uh, or vice versa. So the game's got to be good in order for the power to really, you know, for you to benefit out of the power, the game's got to be good as well. So that's pretty cool, man. You know, at least we know... PS4, Sony's gonna do it big. That's one thing I like about Sony, man. Sony, Sony, look. Let me tell you, and I read this article a, a, a couple weeks ago, a week ago, I think. Here's what Sony said, and, and, they, and they're right with this. Like, they're not dropping the Vita. These motherfuckers crying about the prices of the Vita. Oh, the Vita's cost as much. But see, 250 350 is definitely worth the price. The Vita is definitely worth the price of admission alone. Now, Sony ain't this fucking welfare company that is gonna say, look, we're gonna give you a product half ass, but you're gonna pay 150 for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not doing that. To them, it's all quality. You know, hey, we're going we're gonna to chalk this bitch up with quality, quality, quality. And we're going to do a, a price where we won't lose too much. And that's it. You either take it or, or, or leave it. And if it, if it means that we lose money, so be it. What we want to offer is quality. And that's exactly what Sony does. I'm not going to lie. You know, their products, the PS3, when they came out, was a Blu-ray player. It had a Wi-Fi. It had, a, it had everything. I mean, it was... You know, it, it was just cutting edge technology. When Blu-ray players were a thousand bucks, the PS3 was six hundred bucks. So you were still saving a lot of money in the gaming world. People saw it like, oh my god, that's a lot. You know, but these motherfuckers are just these guys don't care about this high tech gadget, electronic shit. Like, you know, a lot of tech geeks fell in love with the PS3. I'm one of them. I didn't give a fuck. Hey, if I had a Blu-ray player, you know, Wi-Fi, or the amazing graphics. It, I was sold already, you know what I'm saying? I'm a big tech geek. I like all that technology shit. I prefer paying more for quality than less for, for you know what I'm saying, for something that it's not cutting edge, you know what I'm saying? That's just the way it's always been with me. And the Vita is cutting edge. The 3DS was a fucking cutting edge price, 250 and launched. But honestly, the 3DS ain't much, technology-wise, hardware-wise, it isn't, it isn't cutting edge. I mean, the only thing it has is a 3D capability, which without glasses, Works pretty good, but you gotta be right in the center of it so it can work flawlessly. Sometimes you'll get, you know, double, double vision and shit. You know, it feel like you fucking drunk because you gotta be right in the center and a certain distance from the 3DS. So the 3DS, you know, the graphics are nicer than than the than the, uh, the DS, the DSi and all that shit, but it's still not cutting edge. 250 was too much money for that. That's why it didn't really sell much. You know, now 150, 160 is still pretty good for a 3D handheld. You know, very good hardware-wise quality. It's 
quality built. It's got tons of great games. Now, the Vita for 250 I think it's worth it. Now, a lot of people say it's lacking in the games. I, I disagree. You know, you got to own the Vita to know it is not lacking in the games. It's got, you got lots of great Wipeout, Motorstorm RC, Monster, Blob Monster, uh, Uncharted. If I, didn't, if I didn't mention that, you got this guy for the hardcore JRPGs, Gravity Rush, uh, Mortal Kombat, uh, MLB The Show, a lot of PSN downloadable titles, uh, Sly Cooper coming, you know, you got the Metal Gear Collection just launched with Gravity. So you got a lot of a lot of great games that people want to talk about. Rayman Origins looks amazing on the Vita. So the Vita, you know, if you want the quality, you got to pay. That's just the way it is. You got to fucking pay. If you don't want to pay, you ain't going to get the best. That's just the way it is. You know what I'm saying? So you already know the PS4 is going to be quality. Just like the PS3's quality, you know, the Vita's quality. Sony, Sony means quality to me. And, and that, that's it. It's always been that way. Now, I love Nintendo. Nintendo also, the name is synonymous for quality. quality. Nintendo's name says quality, but they don't go for the cutting edge technology. See, Sony is quality, but they also go for, for shit that is new. Cutting edge. Even though if it costs a lot more, they don't care. They want, the, they want quality. That's what they're worried about. That's what Trenton said about the PS4. We don't care about making our shit cheap, making our shit affordable. No. We care about having the best quality product out there if you want to have the money to buy it buy it if you don't don't they care about putting out quality cutting edge shit and that's what sony's all about nintendo has tons of quality but at all times it's not cutting edge that's when they try to uh, keep the price down nintendo goes for a cheaper approach good quality with cheaper approach sony goes with good quality with high fucking tech you know cutting edge technology but a high a, a high price point you know what i'm saying Microsoft shit. <laughs> Mark, I don't know what the fuck they go for because they sure as fuck don't have none of that shit. They don't have the fucking quality. They don't have the fucking games. <laughs> and PC? Well, brothers, PC has a quality, but sadly, it's causing a lot of headaches. It costs a lot more money. And it, quite frankly, does not have the fucking games to match that fucking power. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Either way, it was just a random PS, Sony, PlayStation product video. I hope you enjoy it. Leave your comments down section below. Like the motherfucking video. Hate it. I don't give a fuck. Peace.